Hi, this is Mickey Geek and I'm Dan and welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm making furniture and I'm kind of part way through and I figured this was a good time to start filming. <laughs> So uh, a few weeks back, several weeks back now, I guess, I bought uh, a couple of sections of solid walnut worktop, which I knew I wanted to use to make a few different pieces of furniture in the house. Uh, and we're kind of down to what's left, even though this project is actually one of the ones I knew I definitely wanted to do. Uh, it's just taken a little bit longer to get around to, to completing these. Um, so far, I've made um, an extension to the desk in my study. Uh, a set of square cubby unit type things for the bedroom and a, a gentleman's valet, don't you know, for kind of me to hang my clothes on, <laughs> uh, which was kind of a, a fun little interesting project to do with some of the smaller pieces that I knew I was going to have left over, or at least some of the narrower strips that were kind of cut off of other projects. Um, so that brings us to this, which are bedside tables or bedside floating shelves. So my kind of plan for this, as you can see, this one is nearly finished. It needs, it's gonna have another section, a smaller kind of shelf here. Um, this is stainless steel um, and just pretty simple walnut blocks. I guess the important part is that obviously I have been seeing, seeing uh, recess underneath for the stainless steel to go in so that it has this kind of natural floating look without you being able to see the metal as such. Um, and it's pretty, it's it's surprisingly solid in some way. It's only 15 mil box section. Um, but I thought now is a good time to bring on the video as I set up for some of the last runs on the CNC. Could talk a little bit about the fixturing for uh, just it's a fairly simple router pattern I suspect it would, be, it would have been probably f fairly easy to create a template and do this kind of manually with the router but you know I have a CNC machine and I'd like to play with it so um, <laughs> that's what we're going to do now and uh, we'll talk about the setup of the next block and then we'll come back and talk a bit more about the steel frame and some of the issues I've had so far and what I'm going to do better for the rest of it. So let's take the last block that needs work and take it over to the CNC machine. Over to the CNC over here. Oh, let me scooch down so we can talk a bit about this. So this is the, my, my Ooznes Ox. Uh, before starting this project, I basically just had it uh, flatten the bed here and create an exact outline of the size of the shelves. So there's like a little two mil lip uh, that this can drop straight into, which helps for getting nice repeatable positioning between between all of these jobs. Just push it into place. And now I know that that's exactly where all of the others were when they were machined. So now that's uh, nicely set. I have zero on the machine set for this corner. Uh, I have a couple of these little clamps that I knocked up rapidly just for exactly this job, just to make sure I could hold it from the right places. So it's a simple setup. I, by machining that flat recessed section, I make sure that I'm definitely getting this square to the axes of travel. Um, and uh, it gives me a nice little locator to make sure that I'm gonna get that even spacing so all of the slots on all of the shelves will definitely be relatively in the right place with relatively fast setup. Um, then the machine is just gonna do an adaptive clear of most of the material, leaves about one mil thickness on the walls, and then it does a kind of a straight round pass to remove the remainder of that. So let's fire up the CNC, get this bad boy going, and then we can talk about uh, the stainless steel um, and how that part of the frame is working. So there's basically, a f well, there's a few operations. The first operation 
is going to take out this through notch all the way through here and all the way through here um, just as one operation then I have the adaptive clear that will run all the way around taking out this material and then the last one will do the cleanup on all those things so uh, I just need to enable the spindle and we will upload that job spindle speeds up ramps up to the relevant rpm and then we should jump into life mode I mean taking it relatively gently but you can take fair chunks out depth wise because you're only engaging the cutter a little bit on one side uh, which is nicer than taking the whole slot in one go So this is the underside of the basic frame and you may be able to see this shelf is actually resting on top of and not in set. This one has, uh, has the, the rods in set but there's no crossbar and that's related. So when I first welded this up of course it's difficult to weld things without it wanting to twist and move uh, in the direction of the first weld. So when I got this crossbar welded in, um, things twisted ever so slightly. It was difficult to, to get it exactly right for the, what is a fairly close tolerance in the slots. Now, on this side, I haven't done that yet, and it's actually quite rigid. I'm, I was surprised. I thought, it, I thought I would need to have the crossbar in each each place. Now the question remains do I need the crossbars at all um, or I mean I could just screw the steel to the to the shells and let the forks do the, the lifting. Other than that obviously I still need to cut the bars for what will be the top shelf. I need to obviously cut the wood for the top shelves. Um, so let's cut this frame apart, see if we can get it back to fitting the way I want it to fit, and then we'll look at maybe cutting and welding up for the second bedside table, because it's obviously a pair. So this is the frame as it stands right now with the connection. Say so I'm going to take this cross beam out, refit both legs, see how I feel about the solidity of it. I may I may decide not to put the cross beams back in just because it makes um, it does make it I guess every every weld you do has a chance to pull this steel frame out of uh, square because I am not very good at it. Um, whereas I think making two separate legs might actually be easier. Anyway let's um,
So, <coughs> this is kind of what one of the legs looks like at the moment. And I've cut another couple of bits. We're just gonna weld that on there. We'll have two like that, and we'll see how we go. I've got the first leg already in my right angle clamp. Welder is switched on and ready to roll. So let's see if we can um, grab a filler rod. Let's do the thing. And so here we are back pretty much where we started this video with two extra short bits welded on, really not a great deal. Uh, Cutton uh, machined up the extra shelf and that goes on here. There's a little bit of tweaking, but broadly, it goes on nice, nice snug fit. I say this is very stable without any extra effort the uh, stainless is providing good basis for this uh, obviously this isn't finished I need to take these off again sand them all treat them all and I need to cut and weld up the frame for the other panels which are sitting over here so cut some steel weld some steel finish some panels get that uh, Danish oil shot that uh, I've been overdoing on Instagram as I've worked with walnuts and then uh, then we're done. going to need a little boop, leveling off before I actually do final attachments but there they are one for each side sanding oiling final fit let's do it
Cardinal Assembly. I have ummed and odd throughout this about fixing the steel to the walnut. Um, I think for the moment I'm just going to let friction fit and see how I get on with it in use. I don't have screws small enough to screw kind of up through at the moment. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe in the future I can use some glue or some screws, but for now I'm just going to friction fit them, put them in place, see how they feel kind of in use, and if it's a problem, I'll fix the problem. sturdy I think I mean it's possible that if you're a bit heavy-handed with them we might tilt a shelf and if that's the case I'll add some fixtures but for now I think these are done <laughs> 